Hey guys, today we're going to do just a simple hip opening flow. So we're going to go ahead and get started in a child's pose, coming down hands and knees, bringing the big toes together, opening the knees as wide as you can, and then sinking the hips back. Now, if this is too much for you, just close the knees a little bit. See if you can bring that forehead to the earth. Just reaching the fingertips forward, maybe the chest touches down. Taking a few deep inhales and exhales right here. On your next inhale, slowly begin to rise back up to those hands and knees, and then inhale, drop the belly, turn the face up. Exhale, tuck the tailbone, round the back and tuck the chin. Inhales, you open the front side of your body. Exhales, you squeeze the air out. How about just, how about just two more? Bringing it to a neutral spine. We're going to tuck the toes under. Push into the palms. I have a slight wrist thing going on, so you might see me on my, the ball of my hand. But you're going to be palm flat right here. We have to modify for our bodies when they're asking for it. So in this downward facing dog, heels are pressing towards the ground. It's okay if they don't touch. Hands about shoulder width apart feet about hip distance, then press into the palms and really try to open up the back side of the body here. Go ahead and lift that left leg, open it up, stack hip over hip and just stretch it out. We're going to bring it forward to a pigeon pose. So bring the left knee towards the left palm, the left foot towards the right palm, we're going to relax that back leg and just slide it as far back as we can. Now notice, I'm not putting any weight on this left hip. So we're over the midline of our mat, and then just stay on your palms for a second here. We'll revisit this again and we'll go deeper, but for right now, just kind of stay on your palms. And how about a couple breaths, roll the shoulder blades back, now lift the chin. Now we're going to go ahead and put weight on that left hip bone as we pivot over for a nice side stretch into this right leg. So just reaching out over that right leg. And then left palm is going to come down. As we take the right hand to this left foot, we're going to plant our back foot. And let's just lift up to that fallen star, that fallen triangle. And then gently set your left foot down, crescent warrior. You're on the ball of the back foot. Sweep the arms up to the sky. Maybe hook the thumbs. Just kind of open yourself. Just kind of pull your top half of your body backwards as the bottom half of your body is lunging forward. Sliding into a skandhasana, a deep side lunge. Stay low. Let's just walk our hands and slide it a couple times. Feels so good to get into that inner thigh. If this is too much, you can always be on blocks or just don't go down this far. How about one more time into each side? Now we're going to face the other side and come into a dragonfly twist. So that left palm is down, right palm opens up to the sky. And finish it off with a half-seated splits. Left knee comes down. Sink the hips back. And just fold over that right leg. Let's keep the right leg active so that we're thinking chest to toes rather than nose to knee here. Then just walk your hands forward.
lifting up, walking your hands forward. We're just going to step back into that downward facing dog and shake it out. See how your legs feel different. Notice if you can feel one just a little bit more stretched out. Now your right leg lifts. Pigeon pose. Bring it down. Now in this pigeon pose, the closer your heel is to your hip, it's kind of the lesser of the sensation. The closer your toe is to the front of your mat, more. So it's kind of like a little sundial. You can deal up, dial up how much sensation you need. Stay on the palms here and just roll the shoulders back as you lift the chin. Go ahead and sink onto this right hip. We're going side stretch. And then as you lift up, right hand is going to plant. Again, go onto the palm. I'm going onto the ball of my hand just to keep my wrist straight. Pivot that back foot. Left hand goes to this right foot and opening up. Woo! Just stretching it out. Gently setting it down, getting ready for Crescent Warrior. Couple breaths right here. I'm going to take those sliding skandhasanas. I think I've heard them called tiger in the grass before. So you're like slinking from side to side. <clears throat> Ooh, that was a good crack. How about one more each side? And this time when we slink towards that left foot, dragonfly. Right palm is going to plant. Pivot your hips towards the short end of your mat. Left arm lifts. Half seated splits, right knee is going to come down and we're just going to fold over that left leg this time. So one of the great things about doing a flow a few times is we get to explore it deeper and deeper. Sometimes we just don't get enough time in each posture. So we're going to take this flow through a little bit faster. Walk it forward. If you want a vinyasa here, put it. Because of my wrist, we're just stepping back to downward facing dog. So we're going to take this flow through a few times just to kind of make sure that you're feeling each posture. So go ahead and lift that left leg on the inhale. And then exhale, bring it forward. Set down. Inhale, maybe this time you sweep the arms up. Maybe it's too much, don't do it then. And then exhale, let's fold. Maybe you come to forearms. Maybe you lie flat. As you inhale, bring it back up, sit down onto that hip. And then exhale to your side bend. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, get your base prepared. Inhale, lift. Exhale, step the left foot forward. Inhale, lift up. This time we're just going to do one skandhasana to each side. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Straight up and down. Exhale, sink. Inhale, lift. Exhale, plant the left hand inside the right foot. Inhale, wave the right arm up, dragonfly. Exhale, half seated splits. Walking it forward, making your way back to that downward facing dog. Inhale, the right leg lifts. Exhale, bring it forward into that pigeon. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, bring it down. Inhale, lift yourself up. Exhale, side bend. Inhale, lift it back up. Exhale, plant your base. 
Inhale to that fallen star. Exhale, plant it down. Inhale, sweep the arms up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, lift it up. Exhale, skandasana. Inhale, lift it up. Change direction. Exhale, right hand down. Inhale, lift the left arm. Exhale, half seated splits. <clears throat> We're going to take that through one more time. Walk it forward. Set back up into that down dog. Feel how you feel different here. Notice if there's any change. Inhale, that left leg lifts. Bring it down to pigeon pose. Take that back bend. And then sleeping pigeon. Lifting yourself back up. And folding sideways. Lifting it back up. Over to that fallen star, fallen triangle pose. Setting the foot down to crescent. Inhale, we reach. Exhale, we side lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, side lunge. Inhale, lift. Exhale, ground. Wave the right arm up to the sky, dragonfly. Half seated splits. Walking it forward. Okay, to that down dog. Last time through, right leg lifts, pigeon pose. Inhale for the back bend, the stretch, the opening. Exhale for the grounding. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we side bend. Inhale, we lift. Getting ready on that exhale. And then the next inhale, straightening it out, stepping the foot down, sweeping the arms up to crescent, skandasana, back through center, skandasana, back through center, dragonfly twist to half seated splits. Bringing it back to your down dog. This time we're going to slowly lower the knees down. Big toes come together. Knees open wide. Sink your hips back onto your heels. Into this child's pose. This is a great flow to do. We just need a little bit of blood flowing into those hips, stretching out those hamstrings, especially if you've been sitting at a desk all day. 